Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jesse James, just an average idiot here. I just want to ask a couple questions about Medicaid for all, Medicare for all, whatever it's called. It's a, it's a big movement. It's been going on for the past couple months, and during the pandemic, it's gained a lot of steam. Um, first off, I want to say kind of where I stand. I'm an independent guy. I can swing left. I can swing right. I don't trust neither party, and I think that's where most Americans are. And we've kind of seen a lot of craziness go on. But here's kind of my take on all of the Medicare stuff. And and drop the comments down below if you think I'm right, think I'm wrong. And it kind of maybe you can push me one way or push me the other. Now, I, first and foremost, I have medical insurance through my employer. Uh, but I realize at the same time, I live in eastern Kentucky. I realize in the Appalachian region, there's not a whole lot of jobs. I thank God that I'm able to have a good one. Uh, and I thank God that I have health insurance. A lot of people get tied to their employer. Now, I've heard a lot of the counter argument from the right people saying that, well, you just quit your job and, and go somewhere else. Well, especially during this pandemic, that's not quite as easy as what you say. And even prior to the pandemic, there isn't, you can't just leave a job a good paying job to go go work somewhere else to to go not get insurance possibly or not get the benefits you get or lose your 401k could lose your benefits you're not just gonna you're not you know what i mean or or you can't just maybe a lot of jobs don't offer it is what i'm saying it you get a lot of times you get tied down to that job you get tied to your community you start having a family you have responsibilities uh we uh, everybody knows in America right now that wealth inequality is kind of at an all-time high. Maybe that's due to the Glass-Steagall Act, and we'll talk about that uh, in a later video where we kind of needed an updated version of Glass-Steagall for banking regulations. But why is class mobility structure uh, class mobility? That's kind of not an option. Second point to it is. I've heard a lot of people argue against this, saying it's socialism. And socialism is kind of a key term that's like communism, super bad, be scared of it. But, you know, how much socialism in America is a good thing? How much socialism is a bad thing? America is a melting pot of all different cultures, races, creed, religions, everything. It's a big melting pot. And it's made up of all different kinds of ideas. Our Constitution is one of the greatest living, is one of the greatest documents and and all of, it's, it's created to where you can read it at any time and implement it as you will. Similar, not like, but it's written. I'm not even going to go there. But it's written in a way to where it can be read in the future. Now, that being said, uh, it's not, in the Bill of Rights, it's not... It's not stated that health care is a right. So should the government just give you health care? Is, is, is health care a right? Now... And the Bill of Rights is the Bill of Rights is a charter of negative liberties. That's saying what the government cannot do. Your rights are guaranteed from God. Um, with that being said, I understand that, but we also have a lot of rights in America to where I have the right in America of police protection because of taxpayers' dollars. Now that's not the same right as the right of free speech or anything like that. Those those are the rights given by God. I'm talking about the the, uh, the general welfare kind of stuff, the fire protection. Uh, I, you shouldn't have to pay a, you shouldn't have to pay a premium. A lot of the libertarians say it, that where you pay a little bit every month to the fire, local fire department. If you're caught up, they'll put your house out if it catch on fire. I'm not saying for that. I'm talking about the general welfare kind of area of the constitution. Like I said, I'm just a simple guy, just an average idiot. Ask us some questions. Let me know down below what y'all think. So how much socialism is a good thing? Is it is Medicare for all even socialism? If having police protection on pay, uh, on the government payroll and fire protection and libraries and all the wars and all the money that we spend all over the place, is there any allocations that could be spent during a pandemic through no fault of our own, through all the people that lost their job, even if they employer health care? Uh, even if they had employer, employer health care, how many jobs aren't coming back? Is now the time we say, hey, the, unfortunately, maybe Medicare for all should be for a bit. A lot of these people didn't have a choice in the matter. That, I don't know. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm and I'm from a small business background. 
Thank, like I said, thank God I have a job now and I'll be starting another small business here later on in the future. So I know a lot of guys in the lawn and landscape and pressure washing area that unfortunately a lot of these guys don't have health insurance because they can't afford the high rate premiums and they pay their taxes, they do everything. But unfortunately, it's just the way it is. So at what point... At what point do we look out for a community and say, hey, now that the war in Afghanistan's over and all these, you know, I don't know. I don't want to get too far into that, but there's a lot of money that gets thrown around. And with the pandemic happening, is now the opportunity for we sit back and say, hey, now's the time. Or is it ever the time? I don't know. I'm starting to kind of lean on the fact that Medicare for all is a good thing. And pick it up. If, if, is it going to cost a is it going to cost a little bit in taxes? Yeah. Uh, we pay for a lot of stuff we don't realize in our taxes. And I think a lot of the arguments against it don't really hold up to the pro comments for it. Now, I can't make, excuse me, I can't make a lot of good pro comments for it. I'm just an average working class, middle America, Eastern Kentucky guy. I don't know. So let me know what you all think. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, if I'm way off base, that I don't know. But either way, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit all the buttons.